Previously on Delos, we experienced some intense bureaucracy when checking in to Port Blair. The customs officers lock away our sat phone, and we get our first taste of India. How did it go, mates? Solid, mate. Good. Yeah? Everything done. Oh. I'm ready to go swimming. Yeah, I'm just sorry. Oh, it's just so hot and busy and like, oh, yeah, beep, 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 I can do it. And there. Port Control, this is Delos on 1 0. We are departing Port Blair for Havelock Island. Over. You guys come back? What do you think, Brion? Are you ready to go sailing? Let's get out of the city, man. Dallas, what's the door? Dallas. You are uh, leaving now, huh? That's correct. We're departing the harbor. Roger. What will be your ETA? Echo Tango on fire, not? Uh, ETA approximately five to six hours over. Thank you, Dallas. Thank you, Dallas. Anybody wants this? Cool. Okay, let's go. We've got clearance. <laughs> We've gone through all the bureaucratic craziness of the Andaman Islands. Okay, okay, Melissa, you make Checked in, cleared yeah, customs, yeah, cleared immigration, yeah, got yeah, fuel, yeah, got a SIM card, everything we could possibly do. So we set out to explore the jewels of the sea. Andamans have 572 islands and only 40 are inhabited permanently. How cool is that? What's all this commotion? What do you see, Brady? Big beach. Big beach. See people? Yeah. Lots of people on the beach. There should be a really shallow spot off the starboard bow. The charts here are not very accurate. We don't have much information for depth, just these contour lines that we're trying to figure out what the depth is. Put the 
Indian model sticker flag thing on the back. And we might go check out the beach. Who wants to stick them on flag? What's up and what is the green up or the yellow up? Oh, good question. I did the flag and I don't know. <laughs> oh. The green is on the bottom. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> Which way? But now we know. Pupa. Yep, that is definitely a pubia. Two pubias. <laughs> That's where it goes. <laughs> okay. Sweet. 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 India. Nice one. It was crazy hot and we haven't swam in what felt like months. We were officially cruising India, so it was time to spend a day drinking on the beach. Hi. <laughs> Looking real keen there, Rama. I'm really excited to go. Chill at the beach. Are you? Yep. What are you doing right now? I'm making our first batch of scoby, I mean alcoholic kombucha. But it's carbonated and it's sweet and tangy, so it's kind of like a ginger beer or something. Yeah. So yeah, it's not really helping our bodies. Well maybe it is, maybe it's balancing out of the side. Why don't you storage somewhere? our passage to Port Blair, we watched this awesome old documentary about the Andaman Islands. It got us really excited about this place, and it was on our mind as we cruised through these jewels of the sea. The Andaman Islands, jewels of the sea, emerald green seawater, blue sky, white clouds, and just look at this sand. Absolutely perfect. This place was exactly what we were looking for. Amazing white sand and refreshing clear water. But right as we started to dig into Brady's homemade kombucha hucha, some very official looking officers approached us. Even here the bureaucracy of India was in full effect and they insisted on seeing our official book papers. As they weren't too keen to swim out to Maggie to go and fetch our boat papers, they eventually gave up, and we continued our beach day. found this baby octopus hiding in a shell. Too cool. Does it need to be in the water? I think he was holding on his glasses. The next day we did a short sail to English Island. This warning from me. Now we really need to check weather now, and uh, for that we need the Iridium Go. And since our Iridium Go set phone had been locked away by the Indian customs, we decided to take to some drastic right, measures. So, Karen here is <laughs> uh, gonna help us out with that. How do we do this? It's sealed up. Go through the drawer to the right. Mm. Look, this one? Mm -hmm. See that hole up there? The top. Yes. Stick your arm in there. <laughs> get the small arm in there. Oh man, I don't think you can get in there. 
Hey! Look <laughs> <laughs> nice. what I found! The battery's in there too yeah, somewhere. The battery's in there too somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we can check weather. Tread a little lighter. Like to see. Go on, dudes. Making some music, and apparently, there's millions of uh, jellyfish here, so we need to check it out. Thanks, jellyfish. There's poop. Look. Whoa. How crazy is that? Yeah, look at them here. It's like a, you know, it stretches out like really far away too. That's insane. Look at them all. There's little baby ones too. So many. Why like do you these, think they're here? This morning, I think, I don't know. I think it's just season for it. I think they're all going to die at once. Because this morning I only saw a few and it's been increasing, increasing. Now it's just like covered, full of them. I reckon only for like a few more weeks and they're all gonna die or disappear somewhere else. It's like a stream taking them here or something. Awesome answer, Frida. Couldn't have said it better myself. We should try catch one. What did you do? It's a jellyfish. Yeah, put your hand in there and we can see if it sting you. They won't really hurt though, eh? They'll just give you a little... Mm. I think... I don't think they're deadly here. No, we would be told if they were deadly. Or we would have read about it. It's not like it's box jellyfish. <laughs> well, what a weird feeling swimming in that if nothing stings you. It's like... La, 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 la. <laughs> All the sliminess <laughs> on you. No, they don't sting. Brian decided to take the chance and jumped in. They were totally harmless, but it was still a bizarre feeling swimming through all of them, feeling their spongy bodies bounce into you from all directions. squid off the side of the boat and we've had these squid lures on the boat for like ages and I've never tried them so we're gonna throw it over and see what happens. Oh he's coming for it. Oh Whoa. holy shit I got him. <laughs> really? Hold on, here hold this I gotta get a bucket I'll, I'll so he doesn't get it. I'll get it. ink on. <laughs> Look at them they look Whoa. crazy. Got him. And now what? Look at that eye! Oh my god! Ready? Well, yeah, just another bucket. Just chuck him in, bro. Okay, I don't know what. Another bucket. Oh, Grab another bucket. He's a feisty one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once you start to cut him, that's when they ink. So be careful. <laughs> Bob! What, what happened, Bob's? Is it all over my face? Yeah, it's all over your face. What happened? Um, I cut the last tentacle thingy off. <laughs> Look, they're all black. Everywhere. She washed that off. Yeah, and grab my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. I don't know. That's a pretty good size one. Yeah. We've never caught squid before. Yeah, neither. It's really great. How many do we get? I think seven. Just bagging up, we got quite a bit here. It's, it's at least a kilo, maybe. Maybe a kilo and a half. Nice. 
that mega mouth. That's a big one. The, the tiny bits are moving like the tiny dots. You know? It's like living, it looks like living organisms in there, you know? These color changing cells are actually called chromatophores and are small balloon like cells just under the squid's skin. A complex array of nerves control the movement and size of the spots. And I think they mostly use this to hide from predators. And this is the spine. Really? Mm -hmm. Looks like plastic. Mm -hmm. How crazy is that? I don't know, I don't want to waste it if we can eat it. We're approaching North Button Island. Okay. I'm gonna go check out to see if there's any shallow spots on the way in for Delos. Brady, do you copy? You might be too far away now. Brady! <laughs> How's it looking there? Yeah. Looks like a real beautiful spot. Yeah. Putting the anchor in, Karen? Yes. It's time. Very soon. We're just gonna go a little bit further in towards Brady. Maybe it's slightly starboard. Yeah, that's good. How's it going with the squid, guys? Pretty good. Good. Cutting it into rings. And I'm gonna marinate it and then deep fry that shit. Got them all chopped up and marinating. See the rings right here? Look at that. That's right, that's fresh squid. Oh, yeah. Marinating it with soy and sugar. And we've got the tentacles here. Which is just marinating lemon juice, which is still quite sticky. What are you going to do with those? You eat them raw. Eat them raw? Yeah. Just uh, take some egg on it. Raw egg. Yep. Pencil, pencil on it, and then you can eat them raw. Boom. Nice. Yum. This looks awesome, you guys. They're not soup. Don't worry. Oh, it's fantastic. Did you try in the super wine? sauce? Yeah. Oh, uh, good. I want to try mm. some of that. Get it in there. Mm. Was it good? Really good! Yeah. Max and I set up, you're supposed to show your purpose. A very small a very fire. very small fire. Yeah. So we're heading in on a full moon night to the bitch. Yeah. The full bitch. moon bitch. Somebody remember the red wine, right? Yeah, it's in the... the uh, we've yeah. got red right wine and kombucha. <laughs> One, two, everybody! Keep order here! Keep order, I say! <laughs> so you need to come here and watch the fire we built? So this is the bad boy. Oh! Yeah, look job. at this, man. Oh my god, look at this. It's, it's gonna be gnarly, man. Oh, yeah. Stay very far back, everybody. <laughs> Go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Whew, it's hot. It's hot. Look how big that is. We brought this Brady, guy. Brady, put your fucking foot under the fire. Oh, we did it. <laughs> We've got Monscrum. fire. fire kombucha hucha, which is a mix of kombucha and homemade Dallas liquor. Full moon. I think we found it. We've done well, team. We found the India. We found India. Welcome to Andaman Island. 
The next morning we tried to call port control again for our daily position report. Max tried yesterday without any luck. Sorry, where, where have I come? Have I come to the port blur, port, uh, port control? So, yeah, we can't get a hold of uh, port control and we need to check in two times a day. We didn't check in last night and we can't do it now. But today we seem to have a better connection. Delta Echo Lima Oscar Sierra. Please go ahead, sir. Good morning. Uh, good morning. We are anchored at North Button Island. Our position is 12 degrees 18 decimal 85 north, 093 degrees 03 decimal 94 east. Over. Okay, sir. Uh, you have anchored North Button Island. Yes, that is affirmative. Over. Sir, what time you have anchored at North Button? Yesterday at 1500. Okay, copy sir. And what is your next program? How long you are going to stay there and uh, when you are likely to depart? Uh, we will probably be here for the next approximate two days and possibly depart to Barren Island. Uh, Roger, okay, Dilos. Uh, copy sir. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, good day. <laughs> So guys, you're going fishing? The boy's not out. What are you fishing for? Whatever we catch. You look really ready for this. We've got beers, we've got lures. And we were told if we come back with the fish, then we get blowjobs. What? <laughs> I wasn't told that. We were told, I was told that. Because your girlfriend is sick. Your girlfriend is sleeping. <laughs> She'll realize it when you get back with the fish. Yeah, look what I got. Okay, we'll see you when we get a fish. So maybe two weeks we come back. <laughs> Good luck. We go to the Port Blair market and buy one. <laughs> Do everything to come back for the one. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Feel like something? <laughs> Sunset, bro. Unfortunately, it wasn't a fish, but the lure was snagged on the bottom. So, did you get anything? Did you caught any fish? No blowjobs. Oh, uh, we drank all our beers, though. Yeah, yeah we I spilled bet one, and we lost a lure. We caught a reef. We caught a reef. Guys. Port Blair Radio, Port Blair Radio, this is Sailing Vessel Delos, over. Yeah, who is calling Port Blair? <laughs> Port Blair Radio, this is Sailing Vessel Delos, do you copy, over? Delos, good morning ma'am. <laughs> good morning sir, um, we're just calling in to report our position. Uh, we are still in the same location, 12 degrees, 18 decimal, 85 north. 93 degrees 03 decimal 91 east north button island over yeah ma'am copy you are at uh, north button island and what is your further intention when you will depart from north button <coughs> island please uh, we will be here for the afternoon and we are planning to leave for barren island this evening over Okay, no problem. After topping anchor over there at Barron Island, you please uh, give a call. Okay? Okay, we will do so. Thank you very much and have a good day. Over. Thank you. Same to you, ma'am. <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs> Before departing for Barron Island, we decided to go for a small dive and retrieve the lure that got stuck on the reef yesterday.
Jackpot. It was an easy, relaxing dive with quite a few fish. But unfortunately, the coral had gotten quite damaged by the big earthquake and tsunami that happened here a few years back. In some areas, the reef was even pushed up about two meters. And on our way home, our newly retrieved lure got a hit. It was a baby one, so we threw him back. But Brian still wanted his reward. Can I still get my blowjob? Some of you might be wondering how we all get along, being seven people in such a small space. So every Sunday, we have something called a love circle, where we all sit together, no cameras, no judgments, and everyone gets to say what's on their mind. Uh, I think we've had our sixth, uh, seventh or something love circle. So we've started with that from the beginning, since we're seven people, um, Living, you know, together in a small space, it's good to be able to say things and what you feel and how things are going and bring up things that you want to talk about. I think it's really good. People bring up things. We talk about videos. We talk about like if we if we use too much water, um, just things, just stuff like that. And it's yeah, it's awesome. And the weeks fly by so quickly anyway. And you know, you don't want things to gather up and. It's easy that you have all seven around the table and they can take, just take everything at once. So that's really good. Now we're at Button Island and we are sailing during the night to go to Barren Island. So we just divided our night shift, night watch. Uh, so now I'm going to go prepare because it's going to be my night watch. And I. <laughs> Up next, we anchor next to a live volcano. It's a volcano island and it's smoke coming out. Do some amazing diving. The boys finally catch a fish. And Delos gets covered in ashes. I've been down this road before. Know exactly how to beg for more I keep changing the score Keep asking, keep asking for more Keep asking, keep asking for more Oh baby, I want new love The moon is shining Oh baby, I want a new start Oh I got sweet chords in the beating heart Oh I got sweet chords in the beating heart Is it bombing? Bombing? No <laughs> You need to keep, keep safe out of here, you know? Maybe I farted they did? Poor, did you, you fart? Oh man, what are you guys doing <laughs> there? Nicks. I'm telling you, it's like this egg. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big fist coming in. Was that you? Punch yeah, in the face. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> it's all natural in here.